Welcome back everybody, A Pink Lemon here with something new this time. As you may or may not know, Beyblade X released with the core four of Dransword, Hellscythe, Wizard Arrow, and Night Shield to represent the four types, Attack, Balance, Stamina, and Defense. However, with the release of Shark Edge and its random booster, we got four new recolors and new combos for each of these blades. And today, we're going to pit the original Core 4 against their recolored counterparts to see which combo reigns supreme in a head-to-head -head battle. First things first though, since X-Bays are referred to only by their blade, it'd be a bit confusing in a battle to refer to both opponents by the same name. The anime recently revealed that X-Bays can have the same parts but have different names, so I'd like you to name these recolors in the comments below. I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Until then, I'm just going to replace the avatar in their name with their color. So I'd like you to meet Black Sword 380 Ball, a surprisingly tough counterattacking defense type, Green Scythe 480 Low Flat, an all or nothing attack type with a surprising amount of defense. Red Arrow, 360 Taper, an attempt at a high stamina attack type, and Blue Shield, 460 Low Flat, an abnormal attack type combo. So, now that you've met the competitors, we're going to pit these Beyblades in head-to-head -head battles against their counterparts in some best of three battles, meaning that the first two two points wins. On to the first battle. Our first battle is with two high recoil opponents, so let's see how the original offensive high speed Dran Sword does against its high movement counter attacking counterpart. <laughs> Both competitors are sent flying out of the extreme zone, but Dransword exits last, making the score now 3 to 1. The explosive recoil drains all of Black Sword's stamina, making Dransword the winner of round 1. Despite some extremely hard hits and an impressive reversal from Dransword, it loses with a sleep out, making the score now 0 to 1. And in a never before seen outcome, one extreme dash causes Dransword to burst immediately, making the score now 0 to 3. Once again, the high recoil is too much for Black Sword to handle, making the score now 1 to 3. And despite an impressive offense, Dransword is unable to make a dent in Black Sword's defenses, making it the winner of round 2. Dransword fails to make a solid attack, making the score now 0 to 1. Dransword wastes all its stamina extreme dashing, making the score now 0 to 2. Black Sword dodges a majority of its rival's attacks, making the score now 0 to 3. And in a close match, despite Dransword's best efforts and its highest recoil, Black Sword manages to hold on, making it the winner of the match. Wow, I didn't expect Black Sword to be the last one standing, especially with such high recoil clashes with Dransword. 
and especially after that quick first round. However, the bulb bit put in a lot of work for this combo, constantly dodging Drant Sword's attacks and eventually delivering it the victory. This second battle has two extremely aggressive health scythes, and we're about to find out if the original's extra stamina will let it outlast its counterpart's hyper-aggressive, high-speed attacks. <laughs> Green Scythe struggles to make contact, making the score now 1 to 0. And in a lightning fast round, Green Scythe extreme dashes, slamming into Hell Scythe, causing both bays to ricochet off the stadium walls and back into each other, knocking out Green Scythe, making the score now 3 0. Hellsife's stamina is beaten out of it by its opponent's high recoil, making the score now 3 to 1. Hellsife is struck in an unfortunate position and gets knocked out, making the score now 3 all. Hellsife manages to tank an extreme dash, causing its opponent to burst, making it the winner of round 1. And after ricocheting around the stadium, Green Scythe lands an unpredictable upper attack to give it an extreme finish, making the score now 3 to 0. Hell Scythe lands a last minute counter, making the score now 3 to 2. Green Scythe uses its superior attack power to completely drain Hell Scythe's stamina, making it the winner of round two. And in a neck and neck finish, Green Scythe actually manages the superior stamina, making the score now zero to one. And in a blink and you'll miss it moment, Hell Scythe perfectly slices underneath Green Scythe with an extreme dash, causing it to burst, and to my former self surprise, causing its blade to fly out of the stadium and almost hit me square in the face. I'm so glad it missed, but man, that was a close one. And in another chaotic battle, Hell Scythe manages to deflect Green Scythe's Extreme Dash, making it knock itself out, making Hell Scythe the winner of the match. Whoa, that battle was close. Despite both bays being super aggressive and dealing out super strong attacks, both Hell Scythes had a surprising amount of defense, and I feel like if it weren't for Green Scythe's 80 height ratchet, the OG Hell Scythe wouldn't have had quite the easy time taking the win. In our third battle, two wizard arrows will go head to head, and honestly, it's anyone's guess how this goes, with both opponents having surprising amounts of recoil, high stamina, and low burst resistance. So, let's find out. And in a surprisingly high recoil match, Wizard Arrow has its stamina drained, making the score now 0 to 1. Wizard Arrow exercises an unexpected counterattack, making the score now 2 to 1. Red Arrow lands a direct hit on its opponent's ratchet, causing it to burst, making the score now 2 to 3. Red Arrow ricochets around the stadium to once again burst its opponent with a blow to the ratchet, making it the winner of round one.
Wizard Arrow holds its ground and wins with a sleep out, making the score now 1 to 0. Red Arrow barrages its opponent and lands an extreme finish, making the score now 1 to 3. Despite an impressive reversal, Wizard Arrow's high recoil drains Red Arrow's stamina, making the score now 2 to 3. And in a tense stamina competition, Red Arrow gets its counterpart off balance and wins with a sleep out, making it the winner of the match. Well, despite offensive Wizard Arrow combos usually falling flat, since both bays had such high recoil and the OG Wizard Arrow had such poor defenses, Red Arrow was able to wear it down with its constant barrage of attacks and claim its win. And in our final battle, we have two Knight Shields, one offensive and one defensive. Although I'm not sure how Blue Shield will fare, especially with such low recoil between both opponents and a considerable stamina difference. But we'll just have to find out. <laughs> Knight Shield is steadfast against its opponent's attacks, making the score now 1 to 0. And with a surprisingly quick attack, Knight Shield is knocked out, making the score now 1 to 2. And despite getting knocked around a lot, Night Shield holds its ground, making the score now 2 all. And with impressive speed, Blue Shield lands a powerful Extreme Dash, making it the winner of round 1. And despite its opponent's impressive speed, Night Shield tanks all of its opponent's attacks, making the score now 1 to 0. And in a super quick battle I can barely comprehend, Night Shield hits an extreme dash, but it actually jumps on top of its opponent, knocking it out the top of the stadium at the same time Blue Shield is knocked out, making Blue Shield the winner with an out the top knockout, making the score now 1 to 3. Unexpectedly, Blue Shield's Extreme Dash causes it to burst instead of Night Shield, making the score now 3 all. And after looking like it had wasted all its stamina aimlessly ricocheting around the stadium, Blue Shield lands a perfect hit which knocks Night Shield off balance, letting it land an extreme finish to win the round, making Blue Shield the winner of the match. Oh my god, that was an extremely surprising outcome. Not only did I not expect Blue Shield to win, but I never expected to land a 2-0 sweep. Being able to overwhelm Night Shield's defenses with its impressive speed and considerable amount of counterattack to send it flying over and over again. Well, those were some surprisingly close and unexpected battles, and honestly, it never really felt like there's a point where I could tell who was going to win. A battle with two Dran Swords was about as explosive as you'd expect, yet despite the immense recoil, Dran Sword eventually succumbed to its rival's superior defenses. 
Two aggressive health scythes made for probably the most chaotic battle I'll see in a while, and the closest call I've ever had getting hit with Beyblade X. Ending up in a neck and neck battle where both competitors refused to give in to the other until the very end. Yet the OG health scythe managed to hold on just that much longer and get the victory. Two wizard arrows goes just about how you'd expect, but what I'd never expect is a battle with two knight shields to be, in my opinion, the most tense battle in the video, with blue shield managing an unexpected underdog victory. Leaving us with a score of 3 to 1, meaning that the recolor combos reign supreme, a surprising outcome. Overall, almost all of these combos ended up doing pretty well against the originals, being able to hold their ground and demonstrate their unique strengths to get the win against the odds. That's enough out of me though, what do you think of these recolor combos and what names would you give them? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Beyblade X videos coming soon. Until next time, I've been a Pink Lemon and I hope you have a great day.